It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, it's been a long, long time since I since I made a video about this about this particular individual, but uh, it looks like very, very soon your boy Big Baby Jarrell Miller will be back in action because uh, you know it's been reported that his suspension. His drug, his drug ban, which he sustained in 2019 when he was supposed to fight Anthony Joshua, will soon be coming to an end um, as he will once again be eligible for a boxing license once again. Um, the Nevada Commission has said that, they, that he will only be granted uh, a license just so long as he continues to record negative Nevada tests. Now, what I can tell you guys, what I can tell you guys is this. I've seen Jerome Miller personally, myself, twice. Um, in the last six to seven months. I saw him once I, and I interviewed him uh, at the Evander Holyfield media workout when Evander Holyfield was getting ready to, for, to fight Vitor Belfort. And he was kind of, you know, talking about what he's been doing since the suspension. And then I saw him uh, New Year's Day at the Lewis Ortiz versus, uh, what was it? Lewis Ortiz versus Charles Mart undercard in South Florida. And he actually sat next to me and we had, uh, we had some good conversation and I gave him some encouragement. You know, he's been going through some things in his life which i'm not going to put out here but you know apart from boxing you know and you know i just gave him encouragement you know now a lot of people are going to say drum is a piece of shit and he shouldn't be allowed to fight again and you know um if boxing wasn't so hypocritical and if boxing actually policed itself i would probably agree with you but boxing doesn't police itself boxing has a allowed many fighters uh, who they like and who the business deems uh, beneficial to get a slap on the wrist and not be treated like everybody else They get special treatment, you know, they get the rules bent for them and you guys know who I'm talking about I don't gotta name them here Boxing doesn't treat people who, who test positive PEDs the same. So I'm not gonna sit here and condemn Jerome Miller He, he did his time um, He made um, he made quite a few mistakes, but he's done his time He's had his reputation tarnished. He hasn't been able to make a living in the sport for a couple years. So if he's gonna take the Vada test and, and come back negative and he can he can prove that uh, he's a clean fighter, then he deserves to fight again. And I'll tell you this, man. Um, there's many guys in boxing I know right now, I'm not gonna say their names, but there's many guys in boxing right now who are superstars, making millions of dollars fighting on PBC and ESPN and Mad Truman Golden Boy. They're on that shit. And if you guys knew who, who if you guys knew what I knew, you would say, damn, I can't believe those guys are on it. But a lot of guys are on it. Um, I think Jerome Miller should come back. Now, if he tests positive again, I think I think that's it. He needs to get up out of here. If he tests positive again, he needs to get up on out of here. But, you know, I would love to see him back in the ring. I think Jerome Miller is a, is a heavyweight that, um, you know, wasn't didn't have the best power in the world when he was uh, boxing. Had good stamina, but how much of that was actually him, and how much of that was the PEDs and the GW one five one six and and the steroids and all that stuff. You know, we don't we don't really know, but he had an abnormal punch output for a heavyweight at his size. So you know, we'll see what happens. But you know, I'll I'll like to see Jerome Miller get in there and mix it up with with the top guys. You know, I, I was sitting next to Jerome Miller um, during the Frank Sanchez fight, and he was like, he he was adamant. You know, he was saying that you know Frank Sanchez fights like a pussy he don't like him and um i t i asked him when we were there i was like hey you know would, would, would that be a fight with frank sanchez that that uh intrigues you and he said he would love that fight because of you know the the amateur style and, and the way that frank sanchez fights and he thinks he could explore a lot of things so you know i'd like to see drum Miller versus frank sanchez um i think it'd be a chance for big baby to establish himself in the division and and you know as this new clean fighter because now he's taking vada as this new clean fighter you know show who the new big baby is because I, I i do think you know in life you know it's easy to to uh condemn someone but uh, listen when you know when you know what i know about the sport of boxing you know how just how many fighters are on this shit you know you don't really get as angry or have this fake uh virtue signaling outrage about big baby testing positive for multiple st banned st substances because there's, there's plenty of guys that are taking PEDs, they're stacking their hand wraps, um, um, they're drinking their own piss like Manuel Marquez used to do. They're doing all kinds of crazy shit behind closed doors. You know, they're they're uh, they're getting 
these like blood transfusions done in Mexico where like they'll they'll have they'll get blood drawn from their arm and then and then go to Mexico and then have them freeze the blood and put crazy chemicals in the blood and then inject it back into the fighters and give them this extra bit of boost of testosterone like crazy shit is happening in boxing guys so anybody who is just gonna condemn Jerome Miller all that is if people want to use Jerome Miller as a scapegoat for what's wrong with boxing okay fine but there's so many things going on behind closed doors you guys don't know about and um i, I honestly think that Jerome Miller is being used as a scapegoat to distract the world from all the other people that are doing wrong in boxing so you know June 16th, I hope he eligible to come back. Maybe he comes back by the later, latter part of this year. I would like to see him fight Frank Sanchez because when I saw him on January 1st, that was a fighter he was talking a whole lot of shit about. He said he fights like a pussy and he thinks he could beat him. So make that shit happen. Jerome Miller, Frank Sanchez, uh, let me see it next. But uh, you guys, let, let, let me know what you think in the comments down below about Big Baby and his pending return to the sport. Do you think he deserves another chance or are you going to condemn him and say he should be banned for life when, you know, a lot of other fighters have tested positive and, and, and nothing's happened to them? Leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time. Take your Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.